the aesthetic evolution of transhumanism in gaming. In this presentation, I will be taking you through the basics of transhumanism and aesthetics. I'll be talking about certain games that show this aesthetic. I'll be also talking about how this aesthetic has evolved within a time frame of 20 years. I will then talk about the importance and I will give you my conclusion. What is aesthetics? Aesthetics is the study of beauty and taste. Every single form of text has been influenced and critiqued by other people. What is transhumanism? To understand transhumanism, one needs to first understand what humanism is. Humanism is the devotion to humanities and literary culture. Transhumanism or posthumanism is commonly known as a movement dedicated to the betterment of human limitations through the use of technology. The games that will be discussed today all show the aesthetic of transhumanism. Those being Cyberpunk 2077, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Deus Ex, Near Automata, and Mirror's Edge. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, and their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. Deus Ex is a 2000 action role-playing video game developed by Ironstorm and published by EDOS Interactive. It is set in the cyberpunk-themed dystopian world in the year 2052. The game follows JC Denton, an agent of the fictional agency United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition. He is given supernatural and superhuman abilities by using nanotechnology. His missions entangle him with big conspiracies such as a conflict with the Triads, the Majestic Twelve, and, most importantly, the Illuminati. We are human beings. Each and every one of us. This must not go on. This injustice must end! Deus Ex Mankind Divided is an action role-playing video game developed by Edis Montreal and published by Square Enix. Set two years after the human revolution in 2029, the world is divided between humans and those with advanced controversial artificial organs known as augmentations. Our main protagonist, Adam Jensen, equipped with advanced new augmentations after the human revolution is a double agent for the hacker group known as the Juggernaut Collective to expose the Illuminati. This story explores themes of transhumanism and discrimination using the series reoccurring cyberpunk setting and conspiracy theory motive. Mirror's Edge is an action-adventure platform game developed by DICE and published by Electronic Arts. The game follows the story of Faith Connors, an underground career who transmits messages while evading government surveillance. During the game, you will see when Faith jumps from building to building or zip lines, these aren't something that normal humans can do. She has something known as the runner's vision which lets her see in her environment what is able to be used with parkour. I told myself this was about justice. About protecting the weak. But I was wrong. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is an action hack and slash video game developed by Platinum Games and published by Konami Digital Entertainment. In this game, players control Raiden, a cyborg who confronts the private military company Desperado Enforcement. 
With the gameplay focusing on fighting enemies using a sword and other weapons to perform combos and counterattacks, he is able to use blade mode. Raiden can cut cyborgs in slow motion and steal parts to store in his body. I never quite realized how beautiful this world is. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. If anyone is listening to this, there's something I need you to do. If you ever meet up with your unit 9S, I want him. I mean. Glory to mankind. Near Automata is a 2017 action role-playing game developed by Platinum Games and published by Square Enix. Set during a proxy war between alien-created machines and human-crafted androids, the story follows the trials of a combat android, her companion, and a fugitive prototype. The story requires multiple playthroughs, each unlocking additional story events. Gameplay combines role-playing elements with action-based hack-and-slash combat, which features between game genres. In this game, you will predominantly play as 2B, a Yorha unit who slowly discovers the humanity in herself, even though she is just an android. More secrets will be uncovered as you play the game, finding the true value of life and the reasons why people kill. In this dystopian future, there are no humans. There's only androids and alien created machines. But we need to uncover the real truth of those aliens and what happened to the human. How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm hmm. Arasaka. Cyberpunk 2077 is an upcoming role playing game developed and published by CD Projekt. The story takes place in Dystopian Night City, an open world with six distinct regions. Players assume the first-person perspective of a customizable mercenary called V, who can acquire skills in hacking and machinery, but in addition can augment his body to hold an arsenal of ranged weapons and options for melee combat. The evolution of the transhumanistic aesthetic in gaming. Transhumanism in gaming is common, but what varies is time passing. Some of the earliest games to portray this lens was Deus Ex, released in the year 2000. This game was followed by its sequels, which continued its aesthetic of a spy going against the government and approaching each mission with cybernetic enhancements. This aesthetic of espionage mixed with the yellow and black create the feeling of the government's oppression. The complete opposite would be seen in the game released in 2017 known as Nier Automata. In this game, we see a post-apocalyptic world where the only living species on Earth are animals, alien robots, and androids programmed and cybernetically enhanced by the now extinct humans. The world slash environment they have created is this beautiful buildings taken over by lush plant life where the wildlife is completely flourishing. What is it about the transhumanistic aesthetic that attracts the masses? When it comes to gaming, most players play to escape the real world and its limitations. It is a basic form of escapism. These limitations can vary from person to person, but at the end of the day, the body can only do what the body is limited to do. We all want to have more abilities than we already have. For example, the ability to walk when one is unable to is huge. And some people wish they could have it. Which is why this aesthetic is super important. 